What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossMirtech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to display text in a dialog message box. So let's get started. If you guys watched my last class, this is the code I used. This code lets us print hello world on the screen, right? So I'm going to delete this statement here. The first thing we're going to need to do is we got to import a uh, class, a predefined class called JOptionPaint. To do that we got to uh, first use the import statement above the public class here and the this public block itself. So we're gonna type in import right then we're gonna type in Java then we're gonna type in x dot swing S W I N G dot capital J O P T I O N capital P A N E then semicolon. So again we gotta type in import j java x dot swing dot j option pane um, and then we can use the semicolon at the end. All right here on where it says j option pane, j o is capital and p is capital. You gotta remember that here. So it's case sensitive. So now we've imported our j option pane class, right? Now we can go in our, our method here and we so now uh, we're gonna type in capital J O P T I O N dot show capital M E S S A G E show message capital D I capital D I A L O G uh, parentheses and we're going to type in null and U L L comma hit space we're going to use a double quote here and in between the double quote, we're going to type in our message, whatever we want the dialog box to prompt the user, whatever message. You could, we could type in hello. Right? So that's our message, hello. Now we're going to add a comma after the end of this uh, double quote here. We're going to add a comma. We're going to hit space. Now we're going to type in our display message. So we're going to use another double quote. In between two double quotes, we're going to type in our display message. It could be anything. I'm just going to type in display. message p l a y okay so that's our, my our, so that's our display message there then we're going to type in a comma after that the display message then hit space then we're going to type in j capital j capital o p t i o n then we're going to type in p capital p a n e dot then we're going to type in capital I, capital N, capital F, capital O, capital R, capital M, capital A, capital T, capital I, capital O, capital N, underscore. Then we're going to type in capital message, M-E-S-S-A-G-E. -S -S -E. Has to be capital, right? So now we're going to add a semicolon after the end of this a closing parenthesis here, right? All right, so that's pretty much it. Let me just maximize this here so you guys can see. So we started off by importing the J option pane, which is a predefined class that we're going to use for our dialog box, right? All right, so then we added a statement down here. This is the J option dot show message dialog parentheses null uh, comma space our message we want to prompt the user comma the display message that will be on top of the dialog box. We can type in whatever we want comma J option pane dot information underscore message parentheses semicolon so let's test it out I'm gonna hit run over here and let's hit OK all right we got this error message now the main reason we got this uh, error message here is because I forgot to add the pane here capital P A N E so now this should work so let's hit run hit OK and and as you can see it worked it displayed a message over here hello was our message right and up here, this was our display message. Display message goes on top. It's like a title or whatever. And then this is the actual message. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com. Thanks for watching.